Good morning, folks, and happy 2019. We kick off the new year with space weather, earth weather, earthquake watch, and top science news as we go to spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star with the few bright fields surrounding the large dark coronal hole, where magnetic fields don't loop back down like in arches over sunspots, but stream out and touch the objects of the solar system. Those interplanetary fields are what drive the faster solar wind from those coronal holes, and right now the stream at Earth is calming back down into ambient range. This is the seven-day look again so we can see the rise and now fall of the telemetry out of that coronal hole stream. Phi angle was cut off in that view, but this morning it's settling into Earth-to-Sun magnetic field pointing. Excess magnitude warning due to this coronal hole is expected to begin later tonight. Solar wind from the opening is still two days from Earth. Top weather story was Indonesia, and this storm actually came through Sunday afternoon. Around this time, the luckiest man in Indonesia decides he's going to pull over, and good thing too. At that moment, the debris became very dangerous, and the tornado had snuck right up behind him. After moving to the other side of the road and turning around under better cover, the tornado danced right through the alleyway. It is indeed fortunate in such a densely populated area that only one was lost. Let's come to the U.S., where the last day of the year capped off the record precipitation in Louisville. Just south of that, the storms were much more intense, with high winds and hail overshadowing the rainfall. Two stories here today. First, we have an outstanding sign for the future. The seminal ground electric work of the South Americas. Folks, every last little thing about our earthquake forecasting model. The one from QuakeWatch.net. The one that the team from NASA and ETH Zurich picked up is all based on electric activity. The ground is but a floor of the global electric circuit, with floors beneath it as well. Paper is out of the AGU, who in 2018 published the first ever textbook on electromagnetic seismic precursor anomalies. This is the future. Lastly here, we are discussing a young and wild star, as they are often wont to be. But this one appears to have a tremendously disturbed proto-disc around it. This is puzzling because the physics say they should form flat, and whatever is causing this early twist could be what's responsible for the variation and in orbital inclination of nearly every solar system in the cosmos, including ours. First of the year, first protostellar disc of its kind. Folks, in addition to getting our books and conference tickets at otf.cells.com, our sweatshirts and hats are there too. And yesterday, I was supposed to tell you that we're giving away free hotel lodging to one lucky conference attendee entered by tonight, but I forgot, so it is happening today instead. Cross your fingers for a Douglas Vote interview coming this week. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.